and welcome. I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up a going live notification for Twitch with stream elements and OBS. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. First of all, we're doing this in stream elements because for a long time now, Twitch notifications have not worked. I tried going to Twitch TV, clicking edit stream info and changing the go live information in here, but it still didn't post my going live to Twitter. I also tried this inside of OBS info panel. It still didn't work, but you can click the learn more for it to bring you to a page that'll give you some more information on that. Today, I'll be covering how to set it up in stream elements though. So I'm gonna close all this down, but there is more information here if you want to read into the going live notification a little bit more. That aside, if you have OBS live from stream elements installed, you can do this right in OBS. If you're using OBS studios, you will need to log into StreamElements.com with your Twitch and do it there. I'll cover both ways, so no worries. First, let's open up OBS. If you have OBS Live, you will have a menu right here at the top that you can click on it for a drop down menu. And all you need to do is wave over the stream setup and click on the edit widget data. Now this will just take a second to load up. Once it's loaded up, on the left hand side, there's a list of menus. We just wanna go all the way down to other and give it a click. Now we're going to scroll all the way down this here list and click on the very bottom where it says social media. In this window it gives you a few tabs. At this time only the Twitter is supported. This is where you can connect your Twitter as well as set your go live notification. Just click on the box right here to turn it on. Then edit the, me then edit the message so it doesn't look like a robot made it and click the save and then you're done. This is the easiest way to change and or update it. Updating it in the stream information will not change it. So back in OBS over here in the go live notification, changing it in here will not change it for what comes up on your Twitter. So you'll need to go here each time to update it. In my opinion, this needs a little bit of work from stream elements, but this does work. And next I'll go over this if you just use OBS Studios. So we're just gonna click save and leave this. Oh, we're gonna uncheck it and click save. So we have the option to do this here later on. We're gonna give this here a close and then we're gonna close down OBS. We're just gonna go to Google. We're gonna search stream elements and in here we're gonna log in with our Twitch. Then we're just gonna go to the dashboard. And again, it's the same thing. It's just here on the left side. We just go all the way down to other and then scroll down to social media and give it a click. And again, it's going to present you with the exact same looking page that we found in OBS. You can click this here, uh, tweet when you go live, change your message to whatever you want. And like I said, these ones here aren't supported. So the only thing you can do right now is post out to Twitter. But once you give it an edit and give this here a check mark and click save, that's it, you're done. I do suggest changing this up time to time or making it each time before you go live and post it to Twitter. I think they look a little bit better when you add a personal touch to them, but that's just my opinion. But that's all there is to it. If you think I left something out, definitely leave it in the description below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.